friends, I'm making a video for you called What's in My Cooler. I wanted to inspire you uh, about eating a little healthier and maybe packing for a camping trip or a picnic or even some great lunch ideas for you or breakfast ideas. And I thought if I show you what I've been camping with and what I've been kind of keeping in my cooler and my little cupboards here, I um, could inspire you to eat a little healthier. So first of all, in my cooler, I always have some kind of fruit. Uh, right now I've got a watermelon. This is an organic watermelon that someone picked right off of their garden and I ate the other half yesterday. So I usually have some kind of fruit for my smoothies and that is either blueberries or peaches or strawberries or any of that kind of stuff. And then I always have fruit just for snacking. I really like to have nice juicy fruit whenever I'm a little bit hungry or a little bit thirsty. I could eat a whole bunch of fruit and just feel a little more satiated and juicier. Then I always have um, greens. So usually I will make myself some kind of salad or some kind of greens and I'm always consuming greens. So right now I've got a bag of loose leaf greens that are from the farmer's market from someone's garden. I will usually have kale or spinach in my cooler and a couple things of cilantro. And what I use this for is one, to make my smoothies and also to make a salad. So how I do that is I'll take my little Tupperware container and I'll even take my cilantro and I will like just chop it with my scissors to make it nice and small, put it right into my bowl. And if I'm using kale, I'll use a little bit of olive oil and some salt to massage my kale so that it's a little easier to eat. And I just basically pile on a whole bunch of kale and greens in here. And then I'll put some kind of um, dressing on top. So usually it's just olive oil and maybe some lemon or what lately I've been doing is buying some raw sauerkrauts. So I've got some beautiful raw sauerkrauts that I've been buying that are, make a great dressing and they taste really good and they're of course so good for me and nice and vinegary so they taste really great. So I'll pile that on top and then I'll usually have avocados with me and some kind of vegetables. I've got a ginormous red pepper right now. And then I always have some kind of dips in my cooler. So right now I've got a hummus and I always read the ingredients of hummus because I make sure that there's no canola oil inside the hummus. So I make sure that the hummus is made with olive oil or maybe like a grapeseed oil, but I avoid canola. So I read all the ingredients. And then I also bought a almond pesto. This is a raw almond pesto. So this is made with raw almonds and cilantro and basil. And then I have uh, like a red pepper dip. So these are the kinds of things that I'll usually make either a sandwich or I'll just put it on top of my salads or I'll just dip crackers or veggies into it. So that's always good to have for snacks. And then I have a couple of raw sauerkrauts in here. So I've got a white sauerkraut, which is this one. It's a raw sauerkraut. I've got that purple one. And then I also have kimchi, which is spicy. So kimchi is a bunch of fermented vegetables, but they're really spicy. So all of those are really good on top of my salads. And then I always have chocolate in my cooler. And I also right now bought some kelp noodles, which these are raw and they're seaweed, but they don't taste like seaweed. They're just see-through glass noodles. And they're, they taste really great on a salad. And then I always have some kind of creamers with me. So I use coconut cream. So I've got this right here. I use this for my cereal. So a lot of the times in the morning, I'll make myself a gluten-free cereal with a bunch of fruit and a coconut milk. I'll use this coconut milk for my coffee or for my lattes and mates. And I also tried, they have kind of like a creamer. I tried this one, it's hazelnut flavor, but it's a little too sweet for me. So I think I just prefer the plain one, but I have these for making coffees or mates and lattes. And I'll also just show you quickly what other goodies I buy just to keep things going. So I usually buy some really thin rice cakes and I can put one of the like the hummus or some kind of spread on that, put avocado, put a bunch of cilantro, and I have really great easy sandwiches. I always have olive oil with me so that I can massage my kale. And I have a really good salt, a real salt or a pink salt, Him Himalayan salt. So I always have a really good salt with me. And then I have some other goodies, which are, I have instant coffee. So whenever I feel like having an instant coffee boost, I have that and I'll just make that with cold water and put my creamers into that. I have mate 
which is a loose leaf green tea which gives you energy for the whole day and I'll do this cold as well so I'll put a teaspoon into my into my container and then I'll pour cold water on it and just let it sit for maybe 10 20 minutes and and it will extract out of that and then I just strain that and have my mate and then I put the coconut milk inside of that and then I always have some kind of goodies so I've got like raw almonds that I'll soak overnight I've got this kind of like healthy Nutella that I've been spreading on top of my rice crackers which has tasted whenever I want that little chocolate dessert I've had that and then I also have something called Ticino which is a um, natural beverage that tastes like coffee but isn't quite coffee so I have this whenever I don't want necessarily want the coffee flavor but I want a little bit of a drink I'll make like an iced coffee with this and then lately I've also been eating a little bit of meat so um, I'm not really craving like a steak or a chicken breast or a pork chop or anything but especially when I'm on my period my body has wanted like meat so I have gone and found some really natural um, pork or beef jerky that is nitrate free uh, no hormones and the way that you know that it's really um, the healthy kind is that they use celery juice or celery juice powder to preserve it. So what they're using normally is nitrates which are cancer causing and that's in all kind of processed meat. Any hams or salamis or any beef jerkies are all full of nitrates which cause cancer. So if you're going to eat any kind of meat make sure that it's nitrate free and make sure that it's got the celery juice powder in there. So I've been buying that and just having some beef jerky sometimes and I've um, bought myself a little bit of like salami and cut that up a few times and it's like it's very interesting because my body will want it for a little while but then after a while I just don't even want it anymore and I just give it away. So I just kind of go with how my body feels and what I really like. And one of the last things I have in here are I've been buying seaweeds. So uh, this is kind of a new thing for me. I know that seaweed is so good for me and it's full of iodine and really good salts But it hasn't really been something that I've been very drawn to so I've actually um, now just started Buying seaweed again and just doing it in little bits and so how I've done it is this is dulse and You know it looks like this and I just Take like the tiniest bit and I'll just chew it and it tastes a little seaweedy but super salty and my body kind of starts to like it and I'll just take like a tiny 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 see tiny tiny bite and I just kind of chew it and I know it's really good for me and it's a really good salt with lots of really good vitamins and minerals and so I've been getting myself more and more into eating seaweeds and doing that and that's pretty much it. That's kind of what's in my fridge and what in my cooler So most of the time I'll have a cereal or a green smoothie in the morning And then I'll make myself some kind of salad and then I'll always have some kind of dips and crackers and I usually have like rice crackers and Veggies and I'll just use that and then I always have lots of fruit for for snacks or for desserts or for feeling juicy So I hope this video has inspired you to buy a little healthier when you go grocery shopping for a camping trip or for when you Just go to uh, work. I mean, it's pretty simple most of the stuff you can easily make for yourself and just buy some dips and things and Take them with you to work and snack on some healthier things. So have an amazing day This is Petra and I send you so much love and aloha